All right, so I've seen a lot of people on Reddit uh, complaining about being hard stuck on Bronze 1 in this game. Uh, so I thought just as a little bit of an experiment, we would... Uh, I would play as a character that I've never played before, and we would see how long it takes me to get out of Bronze 1, and see how far we can go from there. So, let's, uh, I'll be commenting on things a little bit as we go. As you can see from my, uh, matchmaking profile here, uh, we are in Bronze 1 right now. And let's choose a character, uh, I could choose any character, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, I've played a, I've played a decent amount of this game as Troubleshooter and Hitman, but you know, I want to choose a character that I have used uh, all zero or almost zero, and so uh, the choices would be something like Dragon Knight or Enchantress. Uh, I'm going to choose Dragon Knight because Dragon Knight is popular. And I have no idea what she does. Seems legit to me. Let's go. Uh, and keep those random matchmaking settings is where we are. That's cool. And uh, let's just boot in. I think the way that I'm going to handle this is I will be in the uh, tutorial mode. And I will just accept any match that comes my way. Uh, I have no idea what she does, so... Uh, thunderstorms. Uh, so, uh, it'll be good to uh, get an idea for what her moves do and what some of her uh, combo options are. All right, she moves, she moves, cool. All right, there is a match and we are just going to accept it. So at this point, I have no idea what any of her buttons do. Maybe I will figure them out as we're in the match or maybe I'll lose. Losing would be okay. I do just hate Grappler. I hate Grappler all the way. Okay, so that's a nice big move. Cool. This person has combos. Cool. Okay, that's a big slash. Cool. That's a big old grab. That's nice. Cool, so we have a combo. They might be able to beat me here. Let's see, do they know the combo? They do know the combo, all right. Well, we're just getting, figuring out what our moves are. Okay, so that's probably just the, the basic combo for now. Okay, we have the DP. That kind of frame traps, kind of. Okay, that's a move. Oh, 
Oh, not that's bad. He still works. Okay, so maybe DP is just going to be the answer for this particular guy. Oh, nope, got hit. Cool. DP will just continue to work on this guy unless something interesting happens with the way he decides to play. Nope. So I'm spending most of my time crouch blocking since lows are fast and this game does not have a lot of overheads. So that was not too bad. Again, like, went in not knowing what the moves were, and we won our first game. And they, I think they refused to rematch us. Okay, fair enough. But, uh, so, uh, hopefully in the between games portion I'll be able to talk about, uh, what moves we have. So, I found this big swing, that's good. Oh, we got another opponent, so I'm just gonna go straight into that. But so we have the big swing, that's good. We have the DP. The combo I was doing was down B, down C, or whatever it is, down S, then forward M. So that's like a sweep, an uppercut, and then the big slash. And that doesn't like, doesn't destroy them or anything, but it was enough to get some good damage. So I'll continue doing that unless we find out that I need more. I suspect this one will be better. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, DP still work, cool. Okay, he knows some, he knows his grab. So that's... Anyway, that sword move is jump B. Okay, so new neutral M is the uh, dragon move. Okay, DP's still working. That combo is still fine. Okay, so again, that was down B, down S, and it works. As a combo, that's cool. DP 
actually still works. Cool. No, that's the grab. I need to react to the grab when I see it. DP still working. Okay. DP still working in there. The idea was that Basically, once I whiffed the uppercut, I knew he was going to try to punish, so I just DP'd immediately. And it worked. And he is rematching us, so we will get to have a third match, well, a second match with this guy. This will be our third match to and hopefully I can win again. Alright. That's armored, I guess. Cool. Does he have the rest of the combo? Does not have the rest of the combo. Oh, does he have the rest of the combo? Oh, that'll hit us. Cool. Okay, and that's a KO. Let's see, he might be able to beat us this round, which would be fine. I mean, this game. Still work. Oh, nope. Yeah, I can't jump there. DP still works though. Oh, nope. Okay, that might kill us. I think he might have won this. If he does, then that's cool. That means. Okay, cool. That means we get to play against him again. And I might lose again, which would be fine. Let's see what I need to change. Okay, so I'm going to be a little less predictable, I think, is what I have to do. Or just need to be more precise. Okay. He still works, cool. Nope. He blocked. Well, parried. Oh, that... I didn't know the range was that big. That's, uh... That's kinda effed. But we're going to... Okay, so at that point... Since he rolled in, I was able to just hit it.
DP still works. Alright, again, still just doing this, these basic combos mostly. You gotta grab. Oh, nope, that's gonna that's gonna get me again. I need to be less predictable because that's uh, that's pretty brutal. Is that enough to kill me? Not quite. Uh, just ran in for a grab to kill him. Yeah, running and grabbing like that is not a smart thing. I don't recommend it, but uh, if they're not expecting it, then it can be effective. Like in that case, I did not grab once in the entire set before that, so he uh, he was not thinking about grabs when I ran in. All right, let's see if I can learn this. Okay, so that's that combo. It's not uh, really any better than the one that I've been using, so uh, it's good to know that, but uh, not, probably not going to be using it. Let's look at the next combo. Here it's low, low, low. I don't need to do that on the ground. Okay. So it's low, low. Oh, we got the freeze. Okay, so let's accept it. Alright, so right now my strategy is just going to basically be the same that it's been, so I'm basically going to be using uh, down B for uh, as a poke. Then I'm going to be uh, confirming that into my combo when I can. Than using the DP if I need it. Oh. Nope. Okay, yeah, DP still works. DP still works. There, just used my same combo that many times and did the DP a few times, and it worked. They're going to have to do a little bit more to uh, destroy me. DP still works. They decided they like rolling, which is fine. Just gonna... Since they jumped at me, they were at a... Oh, they have a grab. Okay, so when they jumped at me in a threatening way, I DP'd. And other than that, I was just poking with uh, down B, 
occasionally if I needed to mash something out, I uh, jabbed using uh, whatever it is, uh, 5A or uh, uh, two, 2 a And did I refuse to rematch or did they refuse? No, they might have refused to rematch. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. That's pretty simple. You know, we're just basically using our pokes to manage space. We're mashing if something requires it. And, uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Alright, I'm not sure what Kunoichi does. So, this is going to be a whole thing. Okay, DP will be useful. So again, I'm just using DP whenever they commit hard. Like there, that fire breath was a hard commit. Okay. At that time they ran in for a grab and they got it. Okay, they're getting the, the punish. Might be able to just beat me here. We'll see. Nope. Uh, I was able to DP them out and then used uh, 6M for getting their approach. because I saw the roll. Okay, I saw them run in, so I was able to beat them with that. Okay, and they're getting a good punish. They have a combo. Oh, they're probably going to be able to beat me here. Okay, there it is. So this one's a bit harder, I uh, might not beat this one, we'll see. Okay, they have grabs. They're gonna beat me. All right, so I'm trying to think what I need to do to adjust for this. All right. the first round worked, so I think you know, focusing on the same ideas as before is fine. Okay. 
right, so that went better. So again, using 6M as a long range poke. there. That was not great. See. Oh, that should be enough to kill me. That was because of the jump. Oh, I have a fireball. That's good to know. If I have a fireball, I'm going to use it. Kind of made more sense, I think. Alright, and rematch. So let's see if we can uh, be net positive on this one or if they will uh, adapt back. Oh, oh they got me out. Let's see. Wasn't too bad though. Confirms. Okay, Let's see if that's enough to destroy me. Could be. Oh, 
That should be enough to kill me. Should be there. There it is. All right, so we were net negative against that one. We beat the first two. All right, so what would I need to change there? That's something to consider. What would I need to change during that match? Hmm. Well, so certainly I was punished on DPs a few times, so if I fight someone who knows how to punish them, don't use the DP recklessly. That's a big one. Uh, the other one, I think, is, you know, probably be more cognizant of grabs, because she landed grabs on me a few times. But uh, other than that, I'm kind of, you know, overall fine with how I I did in that one. I think they did, they just did better. Oh look, a Dragon Knight. Maybe they actually know what they're doing and uh, I'll be able to uh, learn some things from them. Or not, we'll see. Maybe they have moves. Okay, so... Oh yeah, you can't air block, so if people jump, that's free range to just hit them. That's what they want. So, clearly this is the kind of game they want. We'll see if they change it up this round. Nope, nope, they, they have a combo. because they're hard to make. Again, just DP because they hard to make. And uh, that got us uh, both rounds there. Request the rematch. We got it. Uh, And if we win, then that'll be cool. Again, they ran forward, so I did... Just that was 2A, 2A, 2B, 2C. Uh, and I'd probably... Uh, the uppercut isn't always the most effective, so maybe I need a different combo starter. Missed. 
Okay, that round was kind of dumb, but we got through it. Being dumb is okay. So that one was pretty fast there, and I applied a little more pressure that time, but I don't think I did anything, you know, crazy. Like, I'm fairly satisfied with how that went. So, so good news, we're not hard stuck on Bronze 1. And uh, we'll see how many more of these I can... Uh, Get through. Uh, let's see if I can do this. All right. Oh, yeah, that, that's just gonna be annoying for me to figure out just because I'm uh, bad at buttons. But yeah, you can see on the combo thing where I'm messing up, but uh, no time to learn moves, we're playing another game against a Bronze 4 Ranger. So this one might be a little bit harder. Uh, they're on a win streak right now, so whatever that's worth. And Ranger is somewhat weak to DP, so if I get close enough and then DP any of their buttons, I should be fine. But, uh, well, no. It is yet to be seen. Alright, let's see what we have to do the word. Okay, they did not punish our DP, which is fine. Okay, and they know how to use theirs. Cool. Was punishing their grab. Okay, so distance there being predictable, I was able to jump in. Okay, nope, they, they DP'd after me, which is really more funny than anything else. And I was able to catch their backdash. Oh, nope. Something happened there. I guess something with our connection. Okay, so we got all that damage back. So, 
after we're able to regain our composure, that's not too bad. Again, you know, sort of DP if there's hard commits, and then other than that, it's just a poking game. Like, apply a little bit of pressure if I can think to do it, but it's not urgent. Again, just have... Just... That's basically my combo. Have a grab, cool. Again, just blocking, avoiding things, and just doing whatever I can to counter hit. Not counter hit, but all. There. I was not expecting that grab, that's cool. Oh no, they should be able to beat me up. Okay, they didn't do that much. Oh. They, that might just kill, that'll either kill me or I'll hit them first. Okay, okay so that'll be a win for them. And again, that's because, like, because with this blocking strategy, I do end up accumulating a lot of white health, which uh, they can get rid of with uh, their super or with a magic attack if it hits. Just be a, a losing match for me. Okay. So now we are winning. So just playing the poking game now. Okay, so yeah, that was... I misjudged my ranges there at the end, so, so I lose a game. That is fine. Let's see how we do on this one. Okay, they like to grab, so I should probably be more aware of that. Again, like I'm just not ready for the grabs. <laughs> okay, I I thought that was gonna miss, but uh, no, I was wrong. Not so surprisingly high hitbox. So does that just kill me?
Okay, so by a little bit of a uh, quirk of luck, we managed to still uh, win that one. Basically, wait him out for now. basically uh, when there was a gap and I was close I was just doing 2A and then following up 2A with uh, my combo and it basically worked and so at this point we've been net positive against everyone except that one Kunoichi and uh, things are good. Okay, so... Okay, so that combo does work. Actually, like, I might, I might even try using that combo. I do like it. Because it allows me to just be using the things that I've already been using. The Crouch A, Crouch B, the Uppercut. And the difference there is that it uses the, uh... Whatever that, that move is for... Uh, 4S. So. Maybe I'll see if I can land that in the game. If not, that's fine. Uh, I hate Ghost Blade. So. And just using DP on hard commits. Again, so I'm just using 6S and then jumping A in order to get that uh, overhead. DP for the hard commits. Alright, so that was pretty straightforward. And they are rematching us. So another another match. Okay, that roll was a mistake. Well, I mean mistake isn't a bad idea. I did it on purpose. It was just I did a bad thing on purpose.
Okay, that was because of the jump. Alright, they were in a uh, animation within the range of my uh, 6M, and so I did it. And it worked. Again, that was because of the jump. saw that he was jumping, so just did it. You know, not trying to overthink it. There. That was on more of a read. Like, I didn't see him do that, but I thought he was going to use that full screen move. So I did it preemptively, and it worked. And we are now in Bronze 3. Again, with not uh, a lot of interesting uh, moves or anything going on, still keeping everything pretty basic, if we're honest. Okay, so I need to wait until I land. Okay, so that's A, B, C. No, that's 2A, 2B, 2C. Back C. Okay, I do like that move. Okay, so that will become a combo that I will try to do at some point. This one is off of a standing AA confirm, so AB. Alright, so. That one, that combo's probably gonna be pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, another ranger. I don't think it's the same ranger, I think it's a different one. Uh, nah, I don't remember names. But, uh, hopefully the same, uh, strategy applies. Nothing... Okay, it is a different color, so probably a different player. And again, it's just gonna be a poking game, and I'll use the DP if there's a hard commit that I think I can punish. Dragon's DP is pretty good. It's very vertical, but, uh, it doesn't have a ton of forward range. Which would be helpful in this matchup. Okay, no, that was a bad roll. Okay, they ran for the grab. Okay. Oh. He got guard broken. This guy clearly has some ideas. Had a little too much gusto there, and this guy does know some combos. Okay, 
Okay, again, that is just sort of predicting what he's trying to do. And I'm just guarding if I'm not sure what's going on, and then if I can predict what they're doing, I react to it. And then jumps are pretty weak in this game, so... So again, that was just a poking game, and we won the poking game. That's cool. It's gonna stay close. doing the same combo over and over again, really. And again, uh, it's hard to say if that was a reaction or a read, but he was going for a heavy move, so just swatted him out. He now remembers that he has a DP, that's cool. Okay, he has combos, let's see how far it goes. Whenever he was predictable, like I was able to jump over some bullets, and if there was a hard commit, I would DP. If he was in the corner, I would pressure him on wake up, unless I thought he was going to DP, in which case, you know, just walk up and block it. That was overall not too bad at all. Now in uh, Bronze 4. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going super fast, but I think I should be able to uh, get into silver within 1 hour 30 minutes, which would be pretty nice. So that's down into neutral. Uh, neutral S. Alright. Again, like, so far, like, I still don't know what any of my moves are. I still have not used the Dragon Puppet in any meaningful way, and, uh, we're in Bronze 4. So. Actually, like, it might be fun to learn what the Dragon does. Or actually, like, learn what any of my moves do. Okay, so. Back us. Down us. Forward us. Okay, so we know all those. That's down, um, forward, um. So those are moves we already know. 
backhem is the run forward thing. Then neutral M I think is something to do with the dragon. Because I've seen people do stuff with the dragon. I just don't know what the input is and I don't know how to use it or why to use it. Okay, so that just makes it... So neutral M makes it fly forward and then do that sort of area thing. Okay, and here's someone uh, who's bronze four in their uh, placement matches. So let's uh, let's see if we can keep them out of silver, <laughs> or maybe they'll just beat me easily. Okay, they have some combos, cool. Okay. They have good in intuition on when to grab and when not to grab, so... Okay, this person might just wreck me, and that would be fine. They clearly know their character a lot better than I do. I still don't know what this character does. Open up, they got combos. gonna get them with that. But they're just going for a lot of grabs. Nope. Alright, so keeping things even with this guy, he's pretty aggressive, which is difficult. Okay, I need to do that later, or I need to use a different button. Okay, he knows how to use his DP, that's cool. Might be the kill. Does he have it? Okay, there it is. So, so he does beat me. So this will take a little while. He is, by my estimation, better than I am currently. So. That is fine. because he was hard committing with a grab. Yes. 
Oof. Yeah, that feel, feels bad, man. So let's see how I can do on the next one. I'm like still not using anything advanced or interesting, really. Okay, that's good move. They already figured out. Oh, he baited the DP. This could be lose for me. No. Yeah, that was. That was more luck than anything else, really. I don't feel super attached to that win, but it was good. Yeah, I kind of just clipped him with the, uh, the jump B there. Sloppy there. Okay, so not sure using that move raw is a good idea. Okay, so definitely, you know, the DP is something that I need to work around. Oops, and I just said that. But, luckily, we can both play that game. Oh, that should be a kill. Alright, so we were able to get one off of him, but uh, I think he is probably stronger with Hitman than I am with Dragon Knight, and that is okay. That does mean this might take a little bit longer. It might take us another, uh, you know, might take us the full two hours to uh, get out of bronze, but uh, two hours is pretty short in terms of how long you can spend on fighting games, so I'm cool with that. So it's X, X, X. So I need to cancel that really quickly. Alright. So far, still no combos. Like, I'm still not using any combos, so... That's kind of cool. This one might be a little harder, you know, since... Kunoichi is a match that 
I don't know very well, and is this one of the people we've played before? Maybe. Oh yeah, they like grabs, don't they? I did nothing interesting there. It's all stuff that we've talked about. Oh, no, that was a bad roll on my part, and I'm getting punished for it. Oh, they might be able to just destroy me. Nope. just a prediction, like, basically I was waiting for them to start their DP, since whoever starts later gets the invulnerability, basically, so that ended up working. Yeah, I need to stop getting grabbed so much. I need to be more scary as I need to. Oh. Alright, so again, I didn't do anything more advanced than you've already seen, but just, you know, doing more of it. I thought she was committing for a grab, so I reacted to it. Oh. Oh. And that was based on their hard commit. I was just jump and then a delayed uh, jumping B. Seemed to work. Now we have three shields and bronze, so one more and then we'll be in the uh, placement matches. And if I win two out of three, then uh, we're officially silver. But uh, many miles ago before that, and if I want to get all the way to gold, uh, it's going to be harder. So. I might need to actually 
learn how to play the game. I like that. So the idea is that you can you do the grab and then um, well not grab you do a biting dragon and then go into the DP and that is a uh, combo. Maybe only at specific ranges. Maybe you need to be pretty close to that to work. I don't know. Just in the corner. That's not right. Hmm. Might have to look at that, see how that works, but uh... Yeah, the hard, there is, hard part there is getting the cancel fast enough. Okay, so did it. Uh -oh. Let's move forward because I'm not going to use that combo. No. This one is standby. Okay, so that's doing an uppercut into a forward, which is one that we had already, I had already tried and kind of liked. Okay, this one's going to include an aerial dash, so that'll be cool. Uh, if I can't figure it out after a few tries of just winging it, I'll, I'll uh, look at the demo. from the screen. Yeah, the, the fact that it does this pause thing is a little annoying. Alright, so... Is that one of the one that I've played already? That's not the same as the previous one, I don't think. But, uh, no, we're seeing a lot of Kunoichis, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Hey, actually, like it might be one of the ones we've fought. Eh, I don't recognize it. It'll be fine. Again, just same sort of strategies we've been seeing. DP works, so nothing super interesting there. Oh, nope, that was a bad move on my part. No, did they have combos? Smashing DP on uh, when I saw them do that. They were running in, so I knew they were going to grab, so I jumped back. Ends up they weren't going for a grab, they were going to, maybe they were going to jump as well, but uh, my uh, jumping B caught them, so, you know, a move like jumping B with such huge uh, sweep does have a good chance of catching multiple options.
again, not, not doing anything too interesting, just sort of same sort of pressure structure that we've seen so far. Okay. And that was, I just did 2A and it clashed and we won. Well, we won the game, we didn't win the clash per se. Okay, nope. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part, but not too bad. Okay, they have a combo, and it's not bad at all. Then just dp out of trouble. At this point, I'm just kind of stalling out with the fireballs because we have them. She rolled in. We were able to touch her feet. And we won. That is match one of two for uh, our uh, placement match. So if we win one of our next four, then we're in silver and it was less than two hours. So, I mean, for me, that feels pretty good. I know it's not, like, perfect, but uh, I think we played a bunch of matches, and we only... I don't think I got... Did I get... I think I... Did I get to out by that Hitman? Anyway, I don't think any of them were overwhelming, like, even without knowing any advanced tech. Uh... No amazing setups, no much of anything really been able to basically uh, win more than we're losing. Let's see, so now they're playing Dragon Knight, we're playing Dragon Knight, and uh, there's a good chance they know what they're doing better than we know what. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, they have a DP too. Cool. Yeah, so just basically playing a poking game there the entire time. Again, just doing DP when there's a hard commit. Just sort of being dumb, so you know. We're sort of far enough ahead to where stalling is cool. Oh, gonna get punished. Let's see how far it goes. Not too far, they don't know the combo. That's cool. Okay. They jumped. Jumping was a bad choice. There it is, and my recording timer says that it's been 1 hour and 26 minutes, and I am in Silver 1. There, and just to uh, close this session, I will take this game, and uh, we'll either win it or, you know, I'll complete the set. Yeah. Again, that was like basically some predictable hard commitments, so just play based on that.
Oops. Again, nothing super crazy there. Again, if they jump at me, then... Uh, maybe I should be more conscious about grabs. Again, in this case, if I'm close enough, I can jump over their uh, 6M. Their DP was good. All right, so there it is without any sort of advanced tech, without any setups, with almost no combos. I went from bronze one to silver one. And it was all very straightforward, uh, and I'm going to... Ah, I hit my headphones. I'm going to try to do the same thing to get from Silver 1 to Gold 1. That's going to be a lot harder because Gold 1 is around, like, you know, the peak of, like, my actual skill level playing on a character I know what I'm doing with, so... That may or may not end up happening, but, uh... I think this is, you know solid, you know, good evidence that you can, without a ton of knowledge of your character or advanced tech or anything like that, still, uh, you know, get out of bronze, and it shouldn't take that long if you are consciously thinking about each thing you do and trying to adapt to what your opponent is doing. I lost a few times. You know, it wasn't perfect, it wasn't a straight line, but uh, more wins than losses, and it happened pretty quickly. Alright, signing off. Uh, Y'all take care, bye.